I'm saying to organizations is this isn't just another renewal cycle with Microsoft. It's a fundamental reset in Microsoft's favor. And you know, clients who don't adapt are going to overpay massively and they're counting on it. Right? They're counting on clients to just continue to do what they're doing. I think they're going to count on clients to be angry with them in their next renewal that the price is up, but basically say, there's nothing that I can do about it. Right. And you know, we've never seen this before. The one, the only thing that I can see that was a similar thing in Microsoft's history to what they've done here is in 2001, when they made the change from having upgrade licenses to forcing you to have software assurance for those of us that were around. In other words, in the past, I could buy a license and then they had a cheaper upgrade license that I could upgrade when I wanted to. And then they made upgrades available only through software assurance and having this ongoing annuity where, you know, that was the start of the annuity cycle. And the other thing that they did is they had back in the day a back, off, back office client uh, access license that was Windows Exchange Share, our SQL Server and SCCM. And they wanted to grow SharePoint. So they pulled out SQL Server and pushed SP, S, you know, SharePoint in and made it a core cal. So this, this is something that's unprecedented. We haven't seen this. Um, and we expect this to shake out in you know, some very interesting ways over the next little, you know, next little bit here.